Hi, this is Alan from World Acupuncture. Thanks for joining me. And for those folks on the World Acupuncture Forum, I hope you enjoy this post. I had the pleasure yesterday of receiving a call from Todd, the proud father of his second born, a lovely little girl by the name of Georgia Lynn. Georgia Lynn was born uh, to Lachelle and Todd uh, after as you would assume, nine months of, uh, pretty well nine months of pregnancy. Uh, the specific factor I wanted to mention in today's post is in regard to the treatment uh, for the shell in the lead up to childbirth. Uh, Georgia Lynn was born uh, in seven pound nine ounces. And one of the things the shell said to me after she left the clinic, after her last treatment, was that, please, can I have a birth like your daughter's first birth? Uh, in that case, I treated my daughter, Ellie, right through her pregnancy, and she practiced yoga and breathing techniques, and she was able to deliver her firstborn, my grandchild, Kayla, in a little over three hours. So I received a text message from Todd yesterday morning, celebrating the birth of his daughter, in fact, Lachelle gave birth uh, to Georgia Lynn in a little over two and a half hours. I thought that was a significant enough event just to put you in the picture regard the relatively uncomplicated treatment that can often help uh, a pregnant woman to give birth in a more in a, in a less uncomfortable, less painful, and more expedient manner. To that end. Lachelle came in, I think, about three times in the last month uh, on each occasion saying, please, I've had enough. Can I, can I please have my baby? And uh, as is my want, I did my best to, to honour her, uh, her desire. The treatment that I used was quite straightforward. In the last month of pregnancy, we can usually be confident to be able to use the point Sanyin Jiao or Spleen 6 with Ondan or Moxa Head Needle. To this end, uh, I always like to start the treatment ensuring that the patient is comfortable with a pillow underneath their knees and their head elevated comfortably. And we apply at least one application of Ondan or Needle Head Moxibustion to the point Spleen 6. If situation permits, I'm certainly open to applying two lots of moxa head, needle head moxa or on down moxibustion to the point spleen six. After doing that, uh, we have a special bed that allows a pregnant woman to lay on their stomach. And in doing this, I insert, uh, or after doing this, I insert back shoot points as palpatively indicated. So in her case, it would be bladder 13 or 14, uh, bladder 18 for liver, bladder 20 for the spleen, 23 uh, just to supplement the kidney uh, to some degree. And um, I will often slip in a bladder 40 uh, at the, in the lower limb. So I tend to steer away a little bit from bladder 58 being the low point of the bladder meridian uh, purportedly it shunts the excess key from the bladder meridian through to the kidney and at this stage of pregnancy we really don't want to tonify the kidney so the kidney is responsible for the matrix or the tightness of the, uh, um, the integrity of the bone and then the last thing we want to do is do that in the, in the final part of pregnancy we're looking to soften and expand everything so to that end, I use, uh, I rarely use, but I do use Swato needles. Uh, in this case, uh, 0.32 by 50 millimeter needles. Uh, I insert them to a depth of about one and a half sun uh, in the ciliar points, uh, bladder 32, 33 and 34. I do actually stimulate the needles to get what we would call in TCM Da Chi, but not too much, but just so that Lachelle is conscious of them being present and I will also often use uh, Watto needles down to about one and a half to two sun in a gallbladder 30 area. 
uh, and then leave these points in situ uh, for up to half an hour. Uh, upon removing uh, both the ciliar points or the deeper needle points and the shallow needling points, I'll then uh, ask uh, the woman to sit up and we'll do a comprehensive scatter needling of the shoulders uh, with a slightly stronger stimulation around the gallbladder 21 area and uh, after doing that and creating a significant degree of redness we will then apply extensive chi net skew to the neck and shoulders to relax the tension and to uh, allow or promote uh, a more relaxed uh, state of being in her body thus uh, helping the dilation of the cervix and obviously the birth overall and her overall body health for that matter. Uh, if there is some concern about the ease of difficulty then we will also often uh, apply scatter needling uh, in the uh, tensor fascia lata or the gallbladder meridian between or around about uh, gallbladder starting high in the gallbladder meridian in the thigh uh, down through gallbladder 31, 32, 33. Also, um, if we are concerned about the tightness or tension or wariness of the gallbladder pulse, um, it doesn't hurt to shunt the point gallbladder 34 at all. I hope this helps you in your endeavours to uh, assist um, pregnant women to give uh, uh, easier, less complicated, less painful birth. Um, I can't say, honestly, that this works on 100% of occasions. But certainly uh, the success rate of this treatment in helping pregnant women to easier childbirth and less painful delivery, uh, it is well worth utilising and in my experience uh, I give it uh, five stars and certainly I think at this particular moment uh, both Todd and Lachelle will be throwing some five stars Japanese acupuncture's way. Anyway, thank you for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed the post. Uh, for those who see this on YouTube, come and join us on worldacupuncture.com. For those members viewing this video on the forum, thanks heaps. We really appreciate your support. We love having you and uh, throw the questions in by the ton. Anyway, cheers. This is Alan from a, a very sunny Rainbow Bay this morning and I'm about to head off to clinic on the Gold Coast, uh, lovely downtown Queensland, Australia. Cheers from worldacupuncture.com.